This is not a TTM. I actually had to cheat and order this one because this person does not sign through TTM at all. And I'd have to go to a card show and, and pay more. So, nice Fred Lynn autograph there. Fred Lynn was definitely my favorite player growing up and i um, thrilled to have this, although I would rather meet him in person. And I will do that sometime, but I wanted this one for the, for the autograph collection. These are some of my other Fred Lynn cards. Here's his rookie card in a PSA 8. The 76 card in a 9, which I really love that image. Got the 76 Kellogg's in a Gem Mint 10. And then I've got the signed 2014 Tops card. Here's another envelope. Let's open this one up. This is uh, Boston, and it only took seven days to return. I'll post the address below. Uh, I don't know who this is. Bob Montgomery. This is great. Um, this guy was a backup catcher for Carlton Fisk during most of his career. He did play a lot in 1975. Fisk had broken his arm and was out until June of that year. And then much later, I ended up listening a lot to Montgomery on the Red Sox television broadcast with Ned Martin. Back when I was a teenager in high school, he was the uh, color man, so I spent a lot of time listening to this guy. Great guy, great Red Sox, and uh, really appreciate it. Great autograph, too. I like that a lot. Mobile, Alabama. Bernie Carbo. One of the, boy, Greatest pinch hit home runs maybe in World Series history. Um, he set the stage for Carlton Fisk, and to me, his home run in the eighth inning with two outs, two men on, to basically extend the World Series is probably even greater than Carlton Fisk's home run to me, honestly. Uh, he had a really threw his career away because of drugs and alcohol, and a uh, horrible personal story, but in the last 15 to 20 years, he's turned his life around. He's uh, involved in a ministry now and he's clean and sober. Um, but man, you know, he's in the Red Sox Hall of Fame even. Uh, very colorful character, great guy in the Red Sox. Uh, I, you know, you feel terrible about his personal demons, but what he contributed to the Red Sox is, is so significant. So I'm really pleased to have this card. Thank you, Mr. Carbo. Okay, this one's from Boston. It only took a week to get here. I know who this is. It's pretty special. Let's open it up. Mr. Jim Ed Rice. Wow, nice signature. Jim Rice charges $10 to sign through the mail. He's located in Boston. I will post his address. Jim didn't play in the 1975 World Series. He got hit by a pitch on the hand. I believe broke his hand and missed the postseason entirely. Could you imagine what that would have been like if he could have played? Maybe history would have turned out a little differently. But um, $10 for a signature and versus going to a card show where it's at least 50 bucks, maybe more, I really, uh, really going to treasure this one. Awesome. Got a mail day of two today. Let's open these up. Oh my God! Yeah, Carlton Fisk. Definitely one of the jewels of this collection. This is a $40 autograph, and you um, have to send a check. It's a donation to a cancer foundation that he's involved with, and um, I'll put the address down below. But um, $40 to me is worth it. If you ever see him at a card show, it's probably going to be at least double that. So great autograph in the blue Sharpie. Nice. Postmark from Florida. Now this one is from Oregon, and it's already got a return address, so I know who it is. Rick Wise. Oh, look at that very unusual autograph there. Wow, it's not even a signature, really. Rick Wise was a real integral part of the 75 Red Sox. He won 19 games that year. Great pitcher. Very uh, unique autograph. Fisk and Rick Wise. Nice tandem in 1975 for the Red Sox. Here's one from Orlando, Florida.
Sorry, illness prevents. It's too bad. Denny Doyle was um, definitely a favorite player of mine as a kid. He was a spark to get the Red Sox into the World Series and get him really damn close. He had a hit in every single game of the World Series, 1975. But I'm going to have to try to find this autograph somewhere else. Got another letter here? No, this one is. This is a special one. Let's open this one up. From Phoenix, Arizona. Frank Duffy. This is from the um, video that I did a while ago, story behind the card, and I'll post a link to it. And I sent a note. It says, Hi, Detective Keith. Nice work. For years, I thought that was Brooks Robinson and his big <laughs> butt sliding beneath me. Now I know it belongs to Don Baylor. Ha! Frank Duffy. That is so cool. This was one of the, it was a really fun video to make, and this was a card that I've had since I was a kid, and I always was intrigued by the photograph. Just thought it was really unusual how Topps captured that, so I decided to look into the story behind it, and that is Don Baylor from a play in 1972 in uh, Baltimore. So I'll post the video up, and you can watch that if you're interested. And thank you so much, Mr. Duffy. Really appreciate it. I'm going to absolutely treasure this card and the note card. Thank you.